There are roughly 1,500 active volcanoes across the planet, and at any one time, 40 to 60 of these are erupting, often with major consequences. Volcanoes can have a huge impact on people and communities, and one example of this is the 2018 eruption of Volcán de Fuego in Guatemala, which had a devastating impact on the surrounding villages. Predicting these eruptions is key to minimising their impact. And now, researchers at the University of Sheffield's Department of Geography have developed a low-cost way of forecasting eruptions using the same technology that's in your smartphone. Volcanic gases under the surface of the Earth uh, dissolve inside molten rock or magma. Uh, if that magma starts to cool and solidify or if it starts to approach the surface, those gases start to come out and form a gas phase and that's when we start to measure them at the surface. There are currently cameras available to measure the gas being emitted from a volcano, but these are heavy, making them difficult to transport in the field. And they also cost tens of thousands of pounds, making them unaffordable for people in developing countries, which is where a lot of these volcanoes are located. Prior to uh, an eruption, volcanoes typically change their degassing behavior, so the gas levels might increase as magmas move towards the surface, or the gas levels might decrease due to pressurization, or for various other reasons, the chemistry might change. So we've built um, specialty UV cameras which allow us to measure one particular gas that volcanoes emit, and that's sulfur dioxide. Uh, and we do that using a camera which is composed of um, two separate Raspberry Pi um, units, which is a small microcomputer, um, which allows you to attach items to it. Um, so in this instance we use smartphone sensors, um, the thing that you have in, in your smartphone um, to take everyday pictures. And we use it specially adapted and sensitive to ultraviolet light. And what that allows us to do is to take images of the sulphur dioxide coming out of a volcano at rates of about every second. To do this, two images are taken. One where the UV light is absorbed and one where it isn't. The two images are then overlaid so you can see where the sulphur dioxide is being emitted from the volcano and how much of it there is. So what is it that we're looking at here? We're looking at the summit area of the volcano and then a column of ash and gas that's coming out from it. So the image here shows the sulphur dioxide emissions from the volcano and that's what we're seeing in, in red and uh, yellow. Okay, so is a red a higher concentration of the sulphur dioxide? So in this scale, red is the highest concentration. So this image shows us how the sulphur dioxide emissions from the volcano are changing over time and how that relates to uh, the eruption processes of the volcano. So if an eruption was taking place, you might see a lot more of the sulphur dioxide in this image. Exactly, in fact that's one reason why we do have so much sulphur dioxide is because and it's an active volcano with explosions happening. Wow. This new technology is competing with what's already out there, thanks to its low cost and portability. It's being used in multiple locations, including Vanuatu, Guatemala, Hawaii, and in Chile. In all the instruments help us to understand how the volcanoes work. So this is a very good way uh, helping us how to understand the, the hazards, the volcanic hazards and then to determine how this hazard can act as a, a risk uh, agent. So this is uh, as perfect for us. But the applications of this technology go beyond the Earth. NASA is now looking to send this smartphone tech to the moon. So around a year ago, NASA reached out to us because at the core of our volcano monitoring technology is a very uh, lightweight, sensitive UV detector which they require for an application in terms of monitoring on the moon. So they reached out to ask if we could develop some sensors for them and then work with them to develop that instrumentation for lunar exploration. NASA are interested in this technology because the sensor they're developing is, is designed to indirectly look for water tracers on the surface of the moon, which is very important in terms of understanding lunar geology, uh, lunar formation mechanisms, and it's also important looking to the future in terms of thinking about astronauts potentially going back to the moon and how do we get water for them. As the technology developed at the University of Sheffield becomes more widely available, communities around the world will be able to use it to predict when volcanoes are going to erupt. It's really exciting to be part of a project which you see from um, first concept through to um, a finished package and that's a finished package which could have the potential to save lives.